We begin with a major update from the Postal Service. Today, the Postmaster General Louis DeJoy announced he will delay all changes to the USPS until after the election. This means retail hours and collection boxes will stay the same and no mail-in processing facilities will be closed. Overtime will also be approved as needed. He says he wants Americans to know that the Postal Service is ready to handle whatever volume of election mail it receives this fall. And to help that volume, one local congressman is encouraging people to vote early. Congressman Bobby Scott toured the post office in Newport News this morning to get a first-hand look at operations there. 13 News Now reporter Dana Smith was there and shows us how it went. Scott said he wanted to make sure issues on a national level don't trickle down to local post offices like Newport News, especially considering a record breaking number of Americans are expected to vote by mail. The United States Postal Service has brought new meaning to the term snail mail. The backlogs are a result of the Trump administration cutting overtime, deliveries and other expenses. I think anybody ought to be concerned about the fact that the president has acknowledged that he is willing to sabotage the United States Postal Service in order to gain advantage in the upcoming election. The president has come under fire after he admitted he's withholding funding from the Postal Service to make it harder for the service to process an expected surge in absentee ballots. Now, if we don't make a deal, that means they don't get the money. That means they can't have universal mail-in voting. They just can't have it. Though Trump later denied he's trying to sabotage the Postal Service. Well, actions speak louder than words. Uh, he's been removing sorting machines. He's been move, removing mailboxes. He's been putting limitations on overtime. He's been putting limitations on trips. Scott said none of those problems are going on locally in Newport News, and he's encouraging people to avoid mail delays by voting early in person. Just go vote and be finished with it. People know how they're going to vote. There's no need, no need to wait. There's another option if you're worried about your ballot arriving in time. In addition to early voting, you can also hand deliver your absentee ballot to your local Board of Elections before polls close on Election Day. In Newport News, Dana Smith, 13 News Now. The Postmaster General must go. That's the demand tonight from Virginia Congressman Donald McEachin. The Democrat is calling for Lewis DeJoy to step down following reports of widespread operational changes at the agency that have resulted in slowdowns in mail delivery. Democratic lawmakers suspect DeJoy, who has donated more than a million dollars to President Trump's campaign, made the changes to harm mail-in voting and to help Mr. Trump. But it's the sabotaging of the election I have issues with, the refusal to give overtime, the limitation on how often a uh, truck can pull out, uh, the refusal to prioritize uh, mail-in ballots. All those things are designed to sabotage our election. Today, DeJoy announced he will suspend several cost-cutting initiatives in an effort to avoid even the appearance of any impact on election mail. 